Well, OpenAI did it again. I'm not sure if anyone else noticed this. I certainly didn't. OpenAI released a Codex ID extension that works in any VS Code form. One thing that surprised me the most is the fact that the web version of Codex talks really seamlessly to the OpenAI Codex ID extension here. So whatever task I assigned here to run in the cloud, it will appear in here and vice versa. And if I want to open this locally, I can just go to task history and I go to enable post task user prompt here. I can see all the attempts made to implement this functionality. All I have to do is hit apply here and boom. It has applied the changes. Obviously this change I don't think actually works, but it's not OpenAI Codex fault. It's my fault because the prompt was terrible. You can look at it. Allow users to continue prompting after coding tasks is complete. You probably won't understand what this context is. Basically what I'm asking it to work on is my Claude Maestro application. If you're new to this channel, you probably don't know what it is. Basically an OpenAI Codex clone. As you can see how much this resembles this. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily, because basically I wanted a Claude code version of OpenAI Codex that runs locally on your machine. You may be wondering now, okay, well, this is cool. However, how much does this cost? And to my surprise, as you can tell, I'm on the plus plan and I have been hammering at this for a while. Not that much, so, you know, like, quite a few tasks here, maybe 20, but then each one, as you can see, you can actually specify the number of versions or the number of parallel instance. I didn't realize OpenAI had this in Codex as well. As you can see, I have my versions, I call it instances. Well, okay, how much does this cost? I'm on the plus plan. So that actually cost me 20 bucks. I subscribed to the $20 a month plan it gave me access to Codex Agent. I'm not sure what this expanded Codex Agent means, but what I already have here is everything I need. I have access to Codex Web. I have access to Codex IDE extension, and I also have access to the Codex CLI, which is pretty much all I need. It's funny because OpenAI was gonna acquire Windsurf and if they were working on this while they were going to acquire Windsurf. Very interesting, very interesting move here. Now, is this going to replace Claude Code for me? Guess what I did this morning? I actually unsubscribed to Anthropic's $200 max plan and lowered it to $100 and put that $100 to use with the plus plan, even though it's $20. It can't replace Claude Code. I will say that. And from my testing so far, it's great at small fixes and quick fixes. I wouldn't say that it's terrible at bigger tasks. It just requires more hand holding. And I feel like I trust Claude Code a little bit more in terms of, okay, I have a bigger task. For example, let me just throw in a task here. If user loses internet connection, all running tasks needs to be killed and a banner should be shown at the top telling user that they are currently offline and they won't be able to execute tasks. Instead of using the web interface, we can just use OpenAI Codex IDE extension. And in here, what I can do is I can paste my prompt in here. I can make I can choose between work locally and this is going to make changes directly in my current repo here but I want to run it in the cloud use local changes on dev2 I'm going to push that oh I forgot to set number 4 mm, too late if I go to the cloud here I refresh you can see add offline notification and task handling. So while this is working, let's talk about what model this is using. I believe this is using GPT-5. I, It's so hard to find it in the docs, what model this is using. That's one thing I wish you can specify is like, what model am I running these tasks? I don't even know if I can specify the model in IDE extension, except for this. What does all this mean? This means nothing. I just want to know what models is being used. Who is this for? Like, I feel like developers want to know what model is being used on what, what constitute as a high reasoning effort or which one is medium. I, I had 
Codex do the same task as what Claude Code did, and Codex couldn't do it. I think it was syntax highlighting. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. What this is going to do is it's going to create a new plan. It's going to output a plan in Markdown format. And before this, the, the Markdown was not formatted. So it had no styling. You, you would just see like all the hashtags and, you know, the star sign and everything. However, I had Claude Code go in and so I just gave it this link. I just gave it this link, had it analyze the whole documentation and implement it. And Claude Code was actually able to implement this for me while Codex was, yeah, it couldn't. And I, and I actually test this multiple times. I had Codex try doing this four times, four times this morning, and it just couldn't do it. And I was like, okay, I, at this point, Claude Code wins. Specifically for Claude Code, I think Claude Code is great for large tasks, especially when it needs to be thinking and following a really great plan. It's just really good at that. But as for Codex, I really enjoy this. I This is why I created Claude Maestro, is because I love working this way where I have a tool on the side. I can just offload all my tasks, all my thoughts into it. And I don't really care whether it completes, the, like if the task completes or not. It's just like, okay, at least I have a starting point. I'll be working on something like my main task. And then once I finish my main task, I can pick out something here and be like, okay, well, even if it's not 100% complete, I can at least roll with it and see what it's done. If, if it works, great. If it doesn't work, great. I can, you know, move on with that. Okay, add offline notification and task handling. Let's see what it did here. Made changes in settings page, correct. Offline toggle mode, yep, 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 yep. Offline banner, very nice, as expected. This is not exactly the hardest task to implement, but let's see if it did right. Okay, so. Let's say this task is complete. Now what I would do to test this out, I just go here and go to open AI codex extension here, open the task history. And here's the task. I hit apply, go directly to my electron project here. And if I hit settings, there should be an offline. There we go. An offline simulate simulate offline mode. Yes, it's did it. And gosh, this is scary. Okay, yeah, it did work. See, boom. Also, I have two scroll bars. Do you see this? Do you guys see this? So what I'd like to do is I'm just gonna grab this and open this, copy this and paste it into here. Notice that in the settings page, there is a double scroll bar. Yes, I believe that this is caused by the new banner. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Ultra think about how you'd go about fixing this issue before implementing any changes. So if I open, reopen Claude, Maestro here. By the way, if you're interested in uh, checking out Claude Maestro, there is a link down below in the description. Uh, I update it regularly. As you can see, I am always working on this. So you know what? I don't like that this offline thing is a banner. I want it in the, in the title bar. <laughs> okay, it works. Now settings, settings, simulate offline mode. Let's do this. We're going to do this. Anyway, I, I definitely am enjoying using Codex Web and, and the IDE extension. It just gives flexibility, I guess, because like I can use this on my phone, have it hack away at things while I'm at the gym and I come up with some idea and I want it to like prototype something in the app. I get home, I open it up. And that's exactly what I'm trying to implement with my application, Claude Maestro. Will I move away from Claude Code? No, I will not move away from Claude Code. Claude Code is the king. There's no way that this can replace cloud code just yet. OpenAI model are still not there as good as Anthropic model. I feel like Codex has a lot more features to offer. It's just that the documentation is like not good. They don't have an SDK like Claude Code does. I just love Claude Code because it has an SDK. I really think having a coding agent SDK is 
the way moving forward for developer tools. Like if they exposed all this as an API, I'm sure people can create something even crazier than what they have here. That's all I'm going to say. Let developers create their own tools because they know what's best for themselves.